What can households do? We've given lots of advice over the weeks and months here on the money. We've said to people, if your household fuel bill's going up, and of course they are, check whether or not you're eligible for benefits. Talk to your provider. Maybe you can get a reprieve for 60 days until you can sort out your finances. Do you think people really understand the extent of what's going to happen in April as these fuel bills go up, as the off-gen price cap rises? I'm worried about April, Liam. I'm actually more worried about what happens in October. Me too. And so the way the price cap works, and your viewers may know this, is that they're calculated based on what happened in the past. So the April price rises that we can now see coming, that 54% increase that you described mm. earlier, which is about £700 for the average UK household. A year. A year, yeah. precisely. So that number is based on what's already happened to energy prices. That was wholesale prices in October, November, December, January. Whereas what's happening now in the Ukraine means that the price rises that we're expecting to see in October could be quite significantly more. Somewhere probably between 500 and as much as £1,000 more for an average UK household. Now, averages hide a multitude of sins, and a lot depends mm. on how efficiently your home is insulated. It depends on how many bedrooms you have. It even depends on how modern your boiler is. So mm. practical things that you could do right now. Have you, have you really thought about whether your thermostat is set to the right temperature? Just a one degree reduction in the thermostat save in your home cash. will save the average household about 10%. So that's about £200 wow. a year that of savings. Much? That's a very significant Crikey. saving. The other thing is you may want to check that the temperature, the thermostat is right for the flow on your combi boiler. Now, this is a bit more tricky to get right, but there are good resources online about how to do it. And again, the average household could save about, about £100 a year if they make that quick adjustment. And if you're not sure how to do it, then do check online. We have some resources on our site. That's nows.co. Go to the blog there. We've got some information about how to check your own combi boiler flow rate. But these little changes do add up.